and welcome back. We're going to be playing Slime today, Return of Demon Lord. We're going to play a little bit of this early access game. I'm really excited about it. Devs reached out to me. They're very cordial, very nice, very active in their community, fixing bugs and all sorts of wonderful things. So I'm excited to check this out here today. It promises to be a roguelike game where you like take control and possess enemy monsters in order to move through the levels. I don't know. I'm really excited to check it out. We're going to play a little bit, and then we're going to do some analysis, uh, whether it's game design or UI, kind of just whatever uh, whatever I catch notice of. So with that being said, let's jump into Slime. Okay, welcome to Slime, Return of Demon Lord. This game is currently under early access development. Which means you may encounter bugs, some content may change, or some features may not be fully functional. Thank you for your support. You're very welcome. That's nice and loud. Let's turn that down. Okay. <laughs> I like our introductory scene. Um, very classic sort of composition. Big logo right in the middle. Um, you have your hero up front, close to the camera, and then far off is some objective they're supposed to reach, some MacGuffin. I'm assuming we're going to take over this castle. We're the return of Demon Lord. I'm assuming we're Demon Lord. Um, something that would be nice is a little bit more foreground action here. I see we've got like the shadow here, kind of rawr, big bat ears coming out, right? And that's nice. But it feels like there needs to be a little bit more close, like, immediate foreground action where this is kind of blacked out a little bit, right? Because we do have our middle ground, and we've got our background, we just we're missing that foreground element. And then as well, uh, the bokeh is over here, these particle effects are nice. Um, I'd like to see a little bit more variance in size and maybe make them a little more subtle, integrate them into the environment in some way. Right now it kind of just feels like chroming, although I do like the attention to detail that they do have it in there. It's a very quick and easy way to make things feel way more alive. Mad, mad respect. Okay. Uh, press any key to continue. I am on a controller, so I don't know if those count as keys. I'm on a dual sense, but let's see what happens. Okay. The Demon World. A land of wickedness teeming with all manner of demons imaginable. By the way, I have to press B in order to move forward, which is really weird. Also, it maps to circle on the dual sense, so like it's double weird. Um, X or A is definitely the like move forward button uh, in my context. Maybe that's different where this developer is located, but that would be a nice localization thing where for Western audiences at the very least, um, swap that B for an A. The only reason why such vicious and arrogant beings had not long since tear, little typo, each down to nothing, uh, was the presence of an almighty being, Demon Lord Zenoth. Okay. Nice little text box uh, design here. I mean, it works, right? You've got um, the box kind of echoed between the, um, the actual text itself and then the like title card. And I can't decide if I like that or not. I almost wish this were a slightly different design than this. Let's let's go ahead and screen grab this. It's gonna be my windows, not yours. There we go. I'm gonna lock that away to the side so we can maybe see about playing around with that a little bit when uh, when we get to the analysis side of things. Okay. A demon of unfathomably immense power, Demon Lord Xena reigns supreme for thousands of years without a single threat to his authority. Countless groups of heroes and daring demons Hatton. I thought there were no threats. Is it just these people were not threats? They were like trying to be but not actually threats? Had challenged the demon lord. Still, none of them could stand up to the peerless king. Until one day... Kind of a long transition there. Especially since I think that was us. Zenith, right? And then it was like really menacing with the eyes. And I don't know. Felt a little weird. Ah. Boring. Too boring. No challenger made it through to this room again. <sighs> Dude's optimized himself out of a job. Happens all the time in tech, dude. No worries. You'll land on your feet. You got this, Zenith. 
Hail the great demon lord! There were 20 intruders today, but all of them were eliminated, 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 my hot new dating app. As soon as they set foot before the castle entrance, sire. Ah. How mind-numbingly boring. Since when did those heroes' standards drop so low? Dude's throwing shade. Man, going full old man like back in my day. How long has it been now? The last time I got to fight like my life depended on it. Well, pretty much never according to the introductory text. A battle so fierce, it drove my blood wild. Hail the great demon lord! I humbly believe that it was about 500 years ago. <laughs> I wasn't asking for the stupid numbers. These are dumb numbers. Their intelligence is low. All right. Could it be that the Royal Guard are too good at their job? Maybe I should just kick all of you out. This is too real. This is too like tech. I've optimized myself out of a job, so I'm going to fire all you guys. <laughs> hey, you guys. Aren't we missing a few headcounts here, by the way? Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, never mind the one who barely does anything but researching magic in his lap. The, the rabbit uh, is those two again. What the blazes do they think their royal guard title means? <laughs> well, speak of the devil. Here comes one of them. Fancy seeing you not holing up in your research cave. Uh, Hail the great demon lord. I... Astra of the Royal Guard, beg your forgiveness for the constant lack of my presence, sire. Unfortunately, the preparation for my current experiment was unexpectedly time-consuming. Astra, in fact, I'd say that your traps are too effective. They cut the number of intruders who can reach me down to almost none. So what is it? I'm racking my brain, thinking what could possibly bring you here. Something to report? <laughs> about that, sire. Oops. Oh, <laughs> about that, sire. Why do I feel a betrayal's coming down the line? <laughs> <laughs> this feels a little out of place. I mean, I like that idea of like cutting between 8 bits and then like the more stylistic. Um, renderings it just it felt like to a different level of detail than corresponded to the 8-bit art right like the 8-bit art and even this portrait art feels more detailed than that one did maybe it was a lack of shading or highlighting or maybe I just maybe it just felt like a weird maybe it fell out of place maybe it wasn't actually different at all I'd be curious to watch it again and try and analyze why I felt that way Oh, today marks the day that a tremendous change shall ripple across our demon world. It is the dawn of a new demon lord. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. I've been stuck on this throne for ages as well. But what can a rablat like you do to satisfy me? This feels like someone's conversation they had in high school, you know, I just... Uh, pardon me for not being a muscle brain such as yourself, sire. I'm afraid there's little enjoyment to be had from a fist fight between us. Uh, then what is it that gives you the confidence to face me like this? Allow me to demonstrate. Cool VFX. Uh, th this is... Interesting that the circle is like going in front of the Demon Lord instead of kind of progressing behind. Um, I don't know if that's on purpose or not. <laughs> Magic field woven with ceiling spells invented specially for you. <laughs> not bad. But all this field can do is merely buy, buying another typo, buy you a bit of time. Did you think that I... <laughs> 
Good intensification of the VFX. Nice VFX on the little sparkle there. I like that. What just... The Exernium? Impossible! Precisely. It is Exernium, the very source of your overwhelming power. Only those worthy to be a demon lord can possess it. And I have modified myself to overcome such restriction. Dirty little... Return that to me! That's the symbol of the demon lord! Only those who defeat me on their own merits are worthy to rule. Ah, how old-fashioned of you, sire. Why fight when the fruit of my labor allows me to extract the magic crystal so effortlessly? Is it the crystal on the forehead? If so, it's kind of weird that it's still on the sprite. I feel stronger already. At last! The demon lord's power is mine! How dare you! A cowardly act like this is... I've grown weary of our little conversation. Demon lo- Oh, right! That's your former title now. Before we part, I have a present for you. Gonna turn- Music got a little loud there. Rest assured, I do not plan to kill you. I'm going to bring about a glorious era, the likes of which you failed to achieve throughout the last thousands of years. And I need you to be there, witnessing your successor's accomplishment. Unfortunately, you may have to do so in a new, rather pitiful appearance. <laughs> so, okay, so this flashing, this constantly swapping the sprite of the Demon Lord, I feel like that could have waited until after maybe this next text bubble. Maybe have like the white to pink flash, but not be alternating the sprite, because that's it's a lot of movement. That's a lot while you're trying to read. Who's that guy? <laughs> yeah, just someone randomly apparated next to us? Ah, this power. That meddlesome rabbit. No matter. A demon is helpless in this current form anyway. Evil laugh ensues. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, music definitely got louder there. Okay. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> see, that one didn't feel as out of place to me, and I'm curious. I'd be curious to, to try and, like, figure out why. This place is... Hey. Good morning, Demon Lord, my liege. What? You lazy rabbit! What is this place? I beg your forgiveness, sire. I slept in yesterday and was a little late to my post. I... What in the demon world is going on anyway? I love that he calls it demon world. <laughs> uh, I was planning to ask you the same question, sire. As soon as I entered the throne room, the situation was already looking dire. So I used my power to escape along with you. Incidentally, may I ask why you are... Why are you looking the way you are now? Why, yeah. <sighs> This can't be happening. It looks like a slime to me, sire. <sighs> That's not the point! Did that brainiac put a curse on me? So, uh, could you explain exactly what happened, my lord? Bring the volume up a little bit more. This is a little tricky to balance here. <sighs> All right. And that's everything. Ah. <sighs> Hey, you get the whole picture now? Ah. Uh, how long are you planning on sleeping? When did you not off even? <laughs> Cute little exclamation point, that was good. Uh, the part where you were complaining to your royal guards- This is a long intro for a roguelike, by the way. This is a very long narrative intro. Ah. That's the very beginning, you leperine loafer! <laughs> That's such a great insult. Leperine loafer. I take it that my lord would like to take back the throne? <laughs> uh, of course I do. As a slime sire? Damn straight. <laughs> Isn't it a challenge worth taking? I almost can't stand the thrill. 
imagining that jerk getting his ass kicked by this slime. Hey, hurry up and teleport me back to the throne room already. I cannot, sire. It appears that ever since we fled, Astra has set up a barrier to prevent intruders from teleporting in. And there is the fact that... What? Shut up. <laughs> One does not simply walk into Demon Lord's castle. <laughs> with it floating in the sky and all. Also, a little bit of a typo. Uh, period with the W and use the space there. Meaning if we don't take that barrier down, you won't be able to send me inside. I see. That means peeling off that barrier is our first order of business. If I mobilize all of the Royal Guard... Also, it seems to me, sire, that every single one of your Royal Guards could be under custody by now. Uh, why? Astra most likely wants to clear all of your people away. I would not be surprised if they're already on their way to be tortured and executed in various different places. All right. That's good. We can go rescue them first. Will you be able to sense their magic power and send me to their locations? I might be able to indeed, sire. Uh, fortunately, the royal guard were not in the castle at the time. Although they may now suffer as toys for Astra's minions. If I didn't know better, I wouldn't think I'm speaking to one of the royal guards seeing you being so level-headed about it. <laughs> More importantly, it is true that my teleportation magic can send you to places near and far, sire, but it will not be for free. <sighs> what? Don't you give me that nonsense in times like these, exactly because we are at time of crisis, my lord. No better time for negotiations. <laughs> it always bites you in the butt. See, treat your employees right, and in times of crisis, they'll treat you right. Don't wait for the crises to negotiate. <laughs> Fine. What do you need? The truth be told, sire, the Royal, Royal Guard does not really offer the best benefits. And I would also call into question the working hours. The last part is just you being lazy, isn't it? All right. You have my word that once I have taken back my rightful title, your loyalty shall be repaid without fail. <laughs> you just made a promise, sire. The only thing we demons never break. As I'm sure you're well aware of, former demon lord. Yes, I do. You have my word. Acknowledge, sire. Wherever the destination may be, I shall send you to the place you desire. Except for the <laughs> castle. Uh, deal. All right. The saga of Zenus counterattack begins. We're missing a T in the counterattack. Okay. Ah. You know, I've made my declaration and all, but this slime form's kind of cumbersome. I don't even have limbs. Is the plan to take back the castle really feasible at this rate, sire? In any case, I just recognize that this is the forest where Lord Elder Slime resides, sire. <sighs> that old blabbering retiree who makes me regret setting up the pension fund. <laughs> even... Demons with no union get pensions. Come on, we can do better than this. Still, I do not think there's anyone more suitable to teach you how to be a slime, sire. All right. Good point. That settles it then. Let's go pay that old slime a visit. Okay, we finally get gameplay? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, little Robbie, it was quite a while since I last saw you. My, my, how you grown? Hey! Good afternoon, Lord Elder Slime. Pardon me for cutting to the chase, sir. For real. <laughs> but I have come with a request. Can we cut to the chase and get to the game? <sighs> hey, old Slime, consider yourself honored for this opportunity to have me in your department. I'm assuming that's supposed to say debt. <sighs> Whatever does that mean? Who is this tiny, bad-mannered slime? Allow me to explain. Fade to black. Come back. <sighs> I'll, be <laughs> I'll be a Franz uncle. Such a thing happened while I was here enjoying the weather. <sighs> if only I were still at the castle. <sighs> That's rich. Coming from a... 
typos, man. From a retiree who's been living off his pension for the last hundred years. Well, well. In any case, please allow me to advise, my lord, on the various capabilities of the slimes. Uh, that's why I'm here to begin with. Well, best we move to somewhere more appropriate for the training first, my lord. Little Rabbi, dear, may I leave the traveling to you? Certainly, sir. Notice how she does it for free for the nice guy? Just saying, treat your employees right. Well, well. Treat your employees right. Splendid! The perfect place for a slime to train if I ever saw one. Right, my lord. Allow me to start with the basic movements. Okay, got D-pad. We can uh, start to open the menu. Wow, there's a lot of menu. Okay. Cool. Well, there's a lot we could dive into here. Okay, this is another candidate for uh, maybe our analysis at the end. Okay. <laughs> So we have um, jump and dash. Ah, can we dash? Yeah, air dash. Good. Double jump. Ah, I I, I did hear that there is a um, uh, a problem with the Dual Sense controller where you can't double jump. Um, let me figure this out. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Uh, also, I'm realizing I need to move myself. Um, the solution was to disable PlayStation controller support in Steam. So, now that that is amended, let's begin. Whee! So, first off, the movement feels nice. I'm really liking that uh, falling animation. It, it feels very... Uh, Momentous? Uh, like, there's a lot of uh, momentum. Okay. Down drop, fairly standard. Like this. Oh, those are but the very basics, my lord. Let's move on to the next lesson. I don't know. Get out of here. <laughs> Where do I go? Where do I hide? Um, now then, this lesson shall be on the basic combat techniques. Awesome. Finally, something I've been waiting for. The measure of all outstanding slimes is how well they can bend their form and use it as their weapon. Try forming a fist and attack that barrel. Maybe I should go over here. There we go. That's probably going to be better. Okay. Uh, so... B. So that's gonna be um this one. Okay. Cool. Nice attack sprites. Like this. Oh, what powerful fist! I can hardly believe it was your very first try, sire. Such is the power of the all-powerful demon lord Xena! Would it be better to call you Slime from now on? It really reflects your character. Ah. Hold it right there, Rabbit. I am not planning on staying in this form forever. Well, well. I reckon it's time for practical application. <laughs> okay, nice enemy sprite too. Looks very nice. All right, my lord. Try using those techniques I've taught you to defeat that rabbit. Now, now, dark de evil demon lord. Go punch the crap out of this piece of uh, natural wildlife here. These guys really are demons. Awesome. Now this is what I'm talking about. Time for real combat training at last. Bring it on, Raven. Random bird. <laughs> hey. Oh, we got like health bars? Okay, cool. That looked nice. How's that, Raven? Thought you could defeat me, Demon Lord Zena? Ah! What a thrilling battle indeed. All right. Now this is only the beginning after all. Nothing worth celebrating. <laughs> Right, I shall use this bird to prepare our dinner. Not so fast, little rabbit dear. The corpse can still be put to other use. What else exactly are we going to do with a dead raven? You didn't eat that dead dove, did you? <laughs> Why, to let my lord absorb it, of course. Uh, what? Absorb, you say? Like, eating it raw? 
Basically, yes. <laughs> Consuming another demon will allow you to receive its entire information. So they're Digimon? Directly. Which in turn shall enable you to transform into said demon, my lord. Transform? Have slimes always been capable of something like that? Any slime can mimic the shape of our prey to a certain extent. However, in general, a single slime stands no hope against other demons. It is thusly extremely difficult for us to make use of this ability, okay? All every slime back at the castle ever got to do were cleaning stains and getting stomped by intruders. All right. All right. Sounds like I really need to check this trick out. Try to absorb enemies' remains, sire. Got it. Okay, uh, left bumper. Oh, we full on Kirby that sucker, okay. So yeah, this awesome. is like evil roguelike Kirby. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Marvelous, sire. Any regular slime would only be able to form a rough shape of their prey. Most certainly not this accurate. <laughs> Congratulations, my lord. Looks like you really have what it takes to be an elite slime. Uh, is that really something I should be happy about? <laughs> <laughs> now then, my lord, let's try out the skill of the enemy you just absorbed. When you consumed your enemy, some of said enemy's capabilities shall become available to you as well. For example, that bird, my lord, just ate his capable flight. Oh, boy, this is really long. <laughs> well, well. This, this has got to get cut. Like, so much of this stuff does not need to be conversations. Like, it's very cute and very charming, but boy, is it a lot. And for a roguelike, when, like, you're kind of just wanting to get into what is the gameplay loop and go through that dopamine loop of... Upgrading and trying, failing, trying again. Like, this is removing you from the core of what roguelikes are really good at for a really long time before I'm even really invested in the game. That's pretty rough. Like, if there were a way that they could have started us up off with exploring what it means to, like, take possession of things and how that affects things and then dive into a lot of this story, I'd, I'd be a lot more engaged. I'd be more willing to wait and go through all this in order to get to the cool thing because I've now experienced it, right? Um, right now, it's kind of like I'm hoping it's going to be really cool and it looks like it's going to be really cool and it's looking very well polished, um, which is carrying me forward, but man, it's a little bit rough. Let's begin. Demonstrate your newfound power by flying to the right. other side. Okay, here we go. Hold left bumper to fly. So our... So our um, inhale ability gets replaced by the monster we inhaled. Okay. All right. So we transform back into a slime. Oh! Oh! Lovely! Okay. All right. Well, I am now covering that up. Okay. So that's the right thing. So we can transform on cooldown. So it's not like one and done. That's pretty cool. You can actually fly like a bird, ah, sire. Flying is more exhausting than I thought. Our time in the form of the enemy we consumed is finite, my lord. Oh, so please always be aware of your MP bar. If you're out of MP, you'll return to base form immediately. <laughs> However, my lord can become even stronger by absorbing elite demons. Gaining access to their forms and skills. The ability to transform freely is the proof of a distinguished slime. All right. Great. I'll consume as many enemies as I can and collect their powers to use against whatever barring my path. Awkward sentence. Then it'll just be a matter of choosing the right tool for the task. Precisely, my lord. Alas, this old blob has nothing left to teach you. That sounds like it's time for me to beat you up and eat you. You have my thanks, Elder Slime. Expect to be handsomely rewarded once I've returned to my rightful place. <laughs> oh, I shall look forward to the day indeed. May your battles bring you what your heart desires, my lord. And may it also bring increases to my pension. <laughs> okay, Rabbit, now that training's over, hurry up and open a warp panels portal so I can get back to our temporary base. Ugh, we're going to a base, not a level. Understood, sire. Please wait a moment. Thank you. Looks like demons are gathering around us, sire. Could you, could you get rid of them before we head back? They're just small fries, hoping for scraps. Forget them. That will not do, sire. If I open a warp portal right now, they'll follow us to our temporary base. Not to mention, creating a warp portal requires a certain level of concentration. 
Things could go wrong if one of them interrupted my channeling. And most importantly, cleaning up those that slip through will no doubt become my responsibility. A meaningless overtime that could have been avoided. I implore you to please get rid of the demons converging on this vicinity before I properly... Fine, I get it. Just need to clear the area every time, right? All right. Okay, looks like we have invulnerability frames while that's going. That's nice. So I'm curious if they're going to incentivize us to eat the same enemy multiple times or if we only care about getting each type once. That's our demon lord, always quick to adapt. Please stand by, it'll take a moment. Nice effects. You know, it... It's always a little bit rough when you combine hand-drawn visual effects with pixel art. Like, that spinning portal is clearly not pixel art, right? Um, I think it works, but I also think I would be... Like, if I were making this game, I would be interested to try, you know, could we maybe pixelate this? Uh, could we run it through a pixelation, pixelation filter and see if that would make it feel like it's fitting a little bit more? Or if that would lessen the effect, and like, this is just the best way to do it. And I'm sure they have probably already explored a couple of different options with their VFX. Um, I'm just kind of talking about, you know, if I were, in it, were building this thing, what, what are the routes I might take to try and explore different ideas? Let's go back. Alright. Can I get into a level, please? Oh, the uh, slime is coming with us. If only I were just a little younger. Oh, this is our skill tree. Okay, so we've got um, stat bonuses. Uh, at stage start, recover HP plus 2%. I like that. Um, you get a, a revive. Can reroll demon book. I'm assuming we'll figure out what demon book is. Extra transform slot. That sounds real good. Uh, attack up, crit rate up. Um... Another extra form? Okay, yeah. Okay. So this gives us an extra form and an extra transform slot. I guess I don't know what the difference is between those two. Um, slime Art's uppercut. So it's a straight up a new attack for you. Cool. And another new attack. Good. Okay, so I'm liking that not all of them are just stat increases. I like that there seems to be a certain amount of um, opening the game up more. That's good. Uh, Relic plus, I don't know what that means. Uh, lucky treasure, dismantle, okay. Transform mastery, okay. Decrease cooldown for transform. Okay, that's, that's less exciting. I was thinking like transform mastery might give us like shiny versions of our transform, right? So like we get a cooler upgraded version of abilities when we get that. I'd say probably not though, okay. Uh, right on. <laughs> the training dummy with the dude's face on it. Oh, crits. Okay. So crits. Um, the font for the damage numbers is interesting. Um, it kind of feels like it's supposed to be... I don't know. It feels a little out of place to me. But... Maybe that's just me. Because it feels almost a little sci-fi with, like, the really strong grid of the pixel art. Um, I don't know. It's another one that I'm not necessarily necessarily convinced is wrong or a bad choice. But, like, it does stand out to me a little bit. Demon books are tomes of evil magic that can temporarily boost slime's capabilities. There are four grades of demon books, common, rare, epic, and legendary. Okay. So these are our, our boons. Okay. A single demon book. Yeah, okay. Pick, pick one of three. Uh, you can level each ability up to three. Demon book effects can be checked. Okay. If slime is defeated, all... Right, it's a roguelike. Great. Yeah, confirm. Okay, great. The evil grimoire. Grimoire. Grim... Grimoire. Temporary boost power to reader. Okay. Uh, let's go with extra health. You know, when we're still trying to figure things out, health is kind of like a bit of a difficulty slider for you. You know, let's let's, let's go light on that. Uh, monsters you encounter can be in different tiers. This is what I was wondering about. If they're going to incentivize us to eat different, more of the same type of monster. 
The enemy's tier will affect the capabilities Lime can gain from using Consume and Transform. Uh, okay, so it looks like they give extra stat bonuses, but also a potential skill unlock at a certain tier. Okay. Okay, cool. Ouch. Wait, so this dude's level four. Should I just eat the level four, dude? Skill cooldown? I have to... Swallow was on... No! Really? <laughs> uh. Okay. Well, lesson learned there, I guess. Definitely, like, don't play the game until consume is off cooldown. So we have a new skill here, which is Gust. Okay, cool. Oop. Okay. So we'll eat this guy. Uh, so he's got, like, a basic attack, and then he had, like, a leaf cutter, I think, special? Just, like, two attacks real quick. It's kind of not crazy helpful. I'm also seeing our mana going down. I kind of want the mana bar to be, like, over the player, right? Because it's it's a little difficult. Eliminate ten enemy! Eliminate monster one. Um, it's a little difficult to... Uh, keep track of what is going oh and your skill goes on cooldown even if you don't like hit anything with it and that feels bad yeah i want i want the the mana to be over the character over over your sprite because it's kind of like a bullet hell in that regard like you're not going to be really looking up at the ui and if stuff is going to be constantly draining i need to stay apprised of what that is constantly Scrolls contain magical writings, which can provide slime with various skills. To use a scroll, take it to Elder's Lime. Right, we, this is our our, uh, our skill tree. We, we, we looked at that in a, before. I'm going to transform, and then I'm going to take a screenshot here. And this is going to go also into our uh, little, um, maybe we'll talk about this space. Okay, let's go. Nope. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, but this is a level five dude. Let's eat him for sure. Um, okay. So we can look at the enemies. Tier five, defense plus 10%, reflect plus 100%. There, those are a lot of stats. Look at all those stats. Um, I'd like to know what, look at that silhouette. Jeez. I'd like to know what reflect means. And it seems like I have the same um, platforming and movement abilities that I did as Slime. So it's not too different. Um, it's almost feeling not necessarily Metroidvania, but like it does feel like they reward exploration a lot more with those scrolls kind of being hidden in the way and everything. It's kind of interesting. Ambush! Whoa! Okay! 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 I kind of feel the strongest when I'm slime, I'm not gonna lie. Um, let's... Oh dear. Like, it feels like slime has a much bigger hit effect. And also, take a look at that VFX on, on your swing arc. That's more pixelated. That's what I was talking about with, like, the portal VFX. That's kind of what I would have expected. Okay, what happens if I fall down? Is there anything down here? No. Death. <laughs> Great. Yeah, like... Especially on the uh, the tree. The the slime feels more vectory. But the, the tree felt kind of what I would have... What I was talking about, kind of what I would have expected. Devil Contract. Th this demonic power. Who are you? I am Grim, holder of the High Relics. High Relics, you say? I only appear before those who truly desire power. How will you seize the power? What, the sorting hat? Awesome. I can't believe my eyes. 
genuine high relics. So, you're probably not planning on giving them away for free, right? Indeed, everything has a price. Is this gonna be like chaos in Hades? You don't say, are we talking monetary? How much? Not necessarily so. The price depends on the high relic itself. The exchange must be equivalent in nature. Okay, full metal, sure. Uh, exchange one random relic for 35% skill damage, 100% cast speed, and 15% free cast. Does that mean, like, use an ability without using mana? Yeah, okay. Cool. Well, that's really annoying that, like, I can't buy the first thing that I'm being given. Okay. Well, cool. See, I, I wish I could pay. Okay. Ah, I'm so bad. So bad. Okay. Okay. Easy game. I do wonder what I'm uh, collecting all this money for. I'm sure the the game will, will let me know, but whoops. I can't reach it. There we go. I really want my Kirby ground pound. I'm not gonna lie, I wanna just shapeshift into a brick and Ah! No, no! I'm gonna lose. Oh, that did kill the bird, okay. I was wondering if uh, if enemies were going to uh, die or or how they would handle that. Okay. So you have to kill everything. Got it. Okay. And I guess that's what Rabbit was talking about ages ago. But it. I mean, I, I'm not seeing her, so I just didn't think that this was the same situation. Meow. Over here, potential customer. You need something? I know just from looking at you, you're in the middle of an adventure, right? An adventure? Well, you're not entirely off the mark. Now that I've humored your curiosity, I'll be on my way. Urgent stuff. Meow! Hang on, dear customer, sir. I have something that might help you on your journey. What else do you want, Ca Oh, awesome. You sell relics? Preci precisely, relics, sir. Magical equipments of myriad properties that shall augment you abilities for braving your arduous adventures. My name is Mio, the demon world famous relic merchant. Never heard of you. Come on, no need to sweat the details. Anyway, would you like to check out my relics, sir? They're all good all right. stuff now. Right. Let me see your relics then. Purr. Thank you so much, dear customer. Okay. Uh. So more health, more attack, crit rate. Uh, how much money do we have? 100, oh, we can get two of them. Relics, ancient artifacts, which provides line with a variety of abilities instead of four grids, uh, sure, okay. Uh, okay, so you have a limited amount of relic slots, that's good, restrictions are all, I'm, I'm such a big fan of, of constraints in games to keep them interesting. Uh, you can get rid of them, you lose all the relics when you die. Okay, so they're a part of the run, got it. Let's take more health, more attack. That sounds like a good idea. Oh, there was more stuff. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know there was more stuff. Greetings, Mr. Slime. Would you be interested in some herbs? Herbs? Doesn't it take too long before their, eff before their effects kick in? That is correct, sir. However, these are no ordinary herbs. These are magical herbs from the Dryad Forest, my hometown. Guarantee that their quality is far, far superior to regular herbs. Oh my, I just realized I've yet to introduce myself. I'm Lily, a dryad as you can see. Uh, a dryad, you say? I heard dryads have the ability to make plants flourish and also improve their potency. But the dryad forest is not an easy place to go in nor out, so I've never got to try them. Absolutely. That is why I wish to spread these herbs far and wide so all of demon kind can try them. They are overshadowed by potions, despite being the better alternative. I dare say they would fetch a better price if they were more well-known. 
What do you say, Mr. Slime? Would you like some herbs from Dryad Forest? I mean, probably, but I already spent all my money. If you buy them right now before they become critically acclaimed, it's essentially a steal, Mr. Slime. That's true. If these herbs are as good as the rumors say, it's a pretty good deal. Right? Then please, go ahead and take your pick. So I'm thinking like with Hades, right? They're very slow to introduce a lot of mechanics. I'm wondering if like you could have met the shopkeeper in the first run. And then in the second run, bring in both the shopkeeper and the herbalist, right? Something to just kind of pace it out a little bit more. So that we're not spending so much time in conversations. Uh, so recover half of your mana. Recover 30% of your health. I would have very much liked that one. Oh, and I'm assuming this is a boss fight now. We've got the full red door with the horns and the skull in the middle. The skull in the middle is actually what really tipped me off. Ooh, you'd be fun to eat. I'd like to be a werewolf, please. Transform! Wow, you've got a lot of health. Jeez, and you hit so hard! Ah! Feel my power. Ah! Oh no! <laughs> that wasn't even close. <laughs> Holy cow! <laughs> wow, okay. So there's five areas, and that was the end of the first area. Wow, these seem like they're gonna be kind of long runs. The temporary base, my lord. Did you just save me? May I ask who else do you think could drag you out of a situation like that? Oh, well. That being said, I'll have you know that such localized emergency teleportation oh, is severely right. tricky. I get it, I get it. You have my thanks. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Hang on, where the blazes is my money, my relics? Why is it, yes, it's a roguelike, yeah. What is the meaning of this? Well, those things really made for a lot of weight and they got in the way of my emergency teleport. I basically worked overtime and rightfully deserved extra compensation. Wait, wait a minute, hold on. You steal the money and relics? <laughs> Girl, you're gonna be really rich before I win a run of this. <laughs> so you separated me from my treasures for convenience and kept them for yourself. Give them back right now. Consider those your payment for all the extra work you put me through, sire. Let's be careful next time, shall we? Yeah, don't you wrap the conversation up like that. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, it's a roguelike. Dark crystals and scrolls were made. Yes, I... Great. Perfect. Understood. Uh, let's level up a little bit. Let's get some more health. Because I'd really like to get to this extra transformation slot. We need HP up by three. So we need two more scrolls. I only remember picking up two scrolls. I don't know how I had six of them. Let's do a little bit more of a run, and then we'll kind of finish talking about uh, uh, kind of the design analysis for, for the day. Um, yeah, I, I, first off, I do like this. I like that they anchor you in a little bit. I talk about that a lot. Roguelikes really benefit from an anchor. Just give me something to build my run around. So they're following that example. The problem is these are not necessarily build-defining things, right? Like increasing your crit rate, picking up more gold, these are not the type of abilities that are like, ooh, cool, now I can like have an idea of something to build into. And that's hard because a lot of what they are asking to build into is kind of like the monster taming side of things. So that's an interesting design problem where you have your stats on the one hand and then you have your monster forms on the other. How do you like present both in a compelling way here, especially when the monster forms are meant to be kind of hot swapped out as you find cooler stuff. I don't necessarily have the answer for that other than like just don't have these be raw stats have them be abilities that will affect the transformation stuff which is probably the ideal anyways um sure let's pick up more money sure Just smash this level four dude. No, not the two! Gosh, <laughs> dang it. Oh, okay. You know, uh, it, assuming we're fighting the same boss, I thought that was gonna happen. Assuming we're fighting the same boss, it might not be a bad idea to try and grab a, um, oh, speed up, cool. Um, 
a bird. Uh, so that we can fly up and away from his energy ball attacks. I think that would probably be a good idea. Yeesh. Ah, I keep on pushing the wrong buttons. Oh, jeez. Okay, right. Ranged attacks. Ranged attacks on the bird. Okay. Everything's fine. Look. Look how fine this all is. <laughs> oh, fly, fly. Okay, good. Look how fine it all is. Okay, we'll just... I mean, can we just... Yeah, let's just do that. <laughs> Look, I have nine more hit points than I need. The last one is the most important. I only need the one. No healing. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, the, um... Uh, cutesy, like, aesthetic and music definitely belie how difficult the game really is. Like, it's... it's it's pretty harsh. And I'm curious what happens when my mana runs out. I transform back. But then can I transform back into my bird form? Two, one. Mm, okay, so my transform is empty. Is that because like my bird form has expired? Or is it because um, I have no mana? So like if I eat this guy, Okay, so uh, each each form has its own mana. So I really like that from a design perspective. Because I was thinking, like, as soon as you get that boss, like, you're probably just going to stick in that until you get to the next boss, right? So basically saying these are, I mean, uh, my, my mental model has shifted away from, like, Pokemon, which it was at the start. Now it's moved to Mega Man, right? Where each of these monsters that I'm transforming into is a different type of blaster. And I have a certain amount of uh, energy for that blaster. And then when it runs out, I have to find some more. So, I... Oh, dear, that's a spike. <laughs> I like that a lot, actually. Very cool. Oh, you know what? Let's eat that. That's a level four. That's even better than our level three that we had. Uh, I am curious what this guy does. No other information on their skills? Okay. So we've got a, a little just headbutt. Spore mine. Oh, and poison us. Oh, we got two abilities. Oh, look at that guy. Look, look at that. Oh, we have to kill all the enemies in the whole level. Okay, that's different one than what I thought. I thought it was just kill things that are in that final space, you know? Okay. Right. It would be nice to have some sort of indicator then of like, yes, you did get all of them. Your thing is now open, right? Instead of thinking like, okay, I think I got them. Dark crystals. Strengthen the bond between slime and NPCs. These are, they're gifts. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So you, you give your gifts to your friends and at different breakpoints, you will get some sort of benefit. Question mark. I like that they didn't introduce that in the first level. That was good. Defeat all enemies, avoid taking damage, don't use any skills. Yeah, so I'm a pro gamer. Um, I don't know if you knew this. Jeez. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can definitely, definitely, oh, suffer defeat once. Okay, we got an achievement for, for two, two scrolls. All right. Um, you can definitely Dark Souls sort of this experience, right? Where, um, you end up just making a couple mistakes and it really costs you. So let's give you, you know what? No, 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 we, We've been going all intro long, given slime hassle about not treating his employees right. Let's, let's treat her right. Yes, give the Dark Crystal. Friendship upgrade. You have one dark crystal to an NPC. We got another dark crystal for having given her one. Can I, I'm gonna give you another one. Unlock effect, that's what I wanted to see. What, what are the effects? 
When defeated, Rabi will return 20% gold up to 100 grams. Grams. Gold. Great. Awesome. That's cool. I like that. When defeated, Rabi will randomly return one relic. Oh, that's super rad. Okay. Very cool. 15% chance that Elder Slime will have the use of scrolls for learning passive skills. So, okay, here's here's definitely a, a, a space we can talk about really quick for UI. Let's dive into that. Doop. Um, we'll get to that in a minute. 25% uh, chance that Elder Slime will have the use of scrolls for learning passive skills. Whoa! Okay. Well, we definitely need to be gunning for him as early as possible then. I regret giving things to Rabby. Uh, can refresh relics and 20% off relic pri price. Okay. Um, you can give him to the Grim Reaper. Give you additional relic options. Okay. And then the herbs are more efficient. Okay. I mean, some of these are kind of like stat bonuses, but some of them are like really changing the game. Like this one. Like getting a, to keep one of your old relics at random is a huge deal. Oops. Okay. Very cool. All right. That was Lime. This is rad. Uh, honestly, I think this is going to be a really good Steam Deck game. Some cute little platforming roguelike that I can do, and it's a little bit chill, you know? Like, it's not... Like, it's definitely intense, but it's not... It's not like Hades, you know, where you're just white-knuckling it the entire time. I, I could appreciate this. I'm going to be playing some more of this. Um... Let's go ahead and uh, jump over here. Um, we're going to do some of this analysis real quick. I, I think it's going to be a good time. Boop. All right. So you can see we've got our different screenshots that we took here. Okay, let's, let's zoom on in. We're going to lean forward. This is the big deal. Okay. So we're going to talk UI real quick. Because uh, we've already been going for nearly an hour. So first off, the thing that really was tripping me up was this line right here. Because it is one pixel away from this line, right? So it kind of creates this weird effect where it doesn't feel like it's far down enough. And so it's just creating this sort of visual tangent. Not to mention, it is pretty much in line with the top of this thing. So it just, it feels like it's intersecting with this. It feels like it's intersecting with the background. It feels like it's just kind of noisy. And I think that could be um, tightened up a lot. Um, I think it would feel better. And this is, you know, anytime we jump into critique, it's always in the spirit of, I don't know, maybe this will help. <laughs> um, and uh, is not to be taken as a I know better by any means it's just a this is something I've observed let's explore some ideas to maybe see if we can kind of try some different stuff okay so what if um, first off if we just remove that line altogether is that going to be good like, I could see it becoming now too plain. We zoom in. <sighs> yeah, it does feel a little bit lost. Like, this narrator doesn't feel like it's really, like, present enough, right? If we brought this line and maybe shifted it down. Let's change our mask to just be right there, right? I feel like that feels a little bit better, but it's still not very great. What would happen if we moved it, like, maybe to the top? Nah, I don't like that either. What if instead, we shrunk it? Boop, 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 boop. Where did it go? <laughs> Ah, it was behind. 
See, that feels more natural to me. So without extending it nearly full width, it's giving that sort of visual rest. So even though it's still kind of intersecting with the top of this, it doesn't reach all the way over there. So it doesn't feel quite so um, clashing. Um, although I, I do feel long-term, the best option would be to change this border up so that it's not the same style as this one. Um, and I don't know exactly what that would look like, but that's kind of where I would explore if I were in charge of the UI design. I'd say, okay, so like, this is maybe a stopgap we can use to make it feel a little bit better. We can even shrink it more. Whoops. You know, go real small with it. And then you're like practically losing it and you may even want to drive the colors up even more. But um, I'd explore maybe some different treatments for this so it doesn't echo so completely. Like tie in thematically, but don't completely copy itself. Um, let's, let's, let's jump down to here. This text, this is what I wanted to talk about down here. This text is very, very difficult to read. Because it's got these, you know, once again, it's got that font with that really, really rough, rigid grid in it, which kind of creates a lot of visual noise. But then we have really low contrast. And for what it's worth, I do really like the signifier that it is disabled. Like, I instantly could tell this was disabled as soon as I saw it. That's good. The problem comes if we open up our contrast picker. Um, oops. We're going to make a block and make it this color. And then we're going to make another block. Oops. We're going to make another block and make it this background color. We're going to select these two. Okay. I got it working. So you can see here, this text is a fail in color contrast, right? It's a 1.8. It is, I mean, b before even being like really accessible, there's like good, it, it needs a lot of work, right? So definitely for this color, shift it down pretty heavily, right? And then I don't think they're using gray text anywhere. It's always this kind of darker sepia tone thing, which I think works pretty well. Although I am curious about on the, on the color count contrast for that as well. But now we have a very passing contrast that anyone with vision disabilities can read. And not just people with vision disabilities, but like all, you know, n any, everyone else. Like everyone's going to have a hard time reading that, right? I am curious. How does the sepia tone... Um, font color pair up. Oops. Come on. There we go. Yeah, that one works. I mean, it works for large font. So you could, you could push it a little further, you know. You could, uh... Oof. Yeah, take it down, take it down in value. And there you go. So you don't have to diverge too far in order to change it, but I mean, it, it would definitely be a shift in the color palette to get it into that double A section. So there you go. Some accessibility discussion, some typography, uh, text box design. We talked a little bit about game design, about how um, pacing in roguelites is important because you want to get people into that core loop, right? You want to get people into that loop of um, empowerment and accomplishment and then deny them the accomplishment. That's where roguelites are really powerful, right? It's, look at all these cool tools you have and we're going to take them away and uh, you're going to feel really strong and it's not going to be good enough because you're not good enough at the game yet. And then that drives the player to really then want to claim the accomplishment, right? It's it's the carrot on the end of the stick dangling in front of them. Like, get them to that point. The narrative here, it's just taking too long. It's just taking too long. And I am not getting into my core drive for roguelikes. 
Hey there folks, Future Joe here, and I wanted to give a little bit of an update because I've been playing a decent amount of slime over the course of a weekend now, and I've gotten a lot further, I've beaten some of the bosses that we ran up against and a couple more, um, I'm continually discovering new characters, new mechanics, um, new relics, and that's one of the big things I really wanted to bring up is that the further I'm getting, the more interesting the relics are getting. So, I'm like, for example, one of them that I found recently was on dash, throw a dagger, right? So, if they're able to keep up that curve of uh, things getting more and more interesting the further you go along, then this is a very, very strong offering, and uh, I'm going to be playing more of it in my, you know, whatever downtime uh, I have. So, that's that. Um, that's my opinion on things. Uh, you may disagree with them. That's fine. I'd love to hear what you have to say in the comments. But this was live. I really enjoyed this. Uh, very grateful um, to the development team for providing me this key so we could take a look at this today and discuss it. Uh, Duo AB Indie Developer. You can find the link down in the comments, uh, in the description. And uh, that's going to be it for me today. Thank you so much for joining us. Hope you've had a great time, and we'll see you next time.